Tis the season to deck the halls with festive decorations. But the U of M bookstore is also entertaining guests with Pulitzer Prize winning authors. T.J. Styles' latest book, Custer's Trials, is a narrative about General George Armstrong Custer. Instead of focusing on the famous battle of the Little Bighorn like other books on Custer do, Styles captured Custer's overall life. And so Custer, as much as he's been written about, I felt that there was a gap in that kind of um, more literary understanding of who he was as a person. The book focuses on Custer's time at West Point, where he finished last in his class, but first in demerits. His unique dynamic between his wife Libby and Eliza Brown, who was a forceful black woman who ran Custer's home and helped in battles and expeditions. It also explores Custer's bad gambling habits and passion for politics in order to create a modern America. Stiles won the 2010 Pulitzer Prize and National Book Award for his book First Tycoon, a biography on Cornelius Vanderbilt, who was the man who envisioned the railroad system. But he won the National Book Award and then right after that he won the Pulitzer Prize for the same book. So, I mean, he's obviously a scholar and very good at what he does. Stiles enjoyed getting to know Custer's mind through letters and journal entries that Custer wrote himself. So one of the um, pleasures of writing about him was that ability to get at his interior state. Stiles said that Custer represents an underlying and important change in America, from the frontier to the Civil War, the West, and politics. For Murphy News Service, I'm Barrett Anderson.